The Bad Neighbors. A funny story for kids. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Lappy. In today's video, I will read a funny story. Let's get started. There was once a man who went out to look for a job. As he was passing his neighbor's house, an important piece of paper fell out of the man's pocket. His neighbor happened to be looking out the window. He saw the piece of paper fall and he thought, What a disgrace! That guy deliberately let that ball out of his pocket. How dare he? He's trying to mess up the front of my house. And he's being sneaky about it too. But instead of going out and saying something, the neighbour planned his revenge. That night, he took his waste paper basket and went to the man's house. The first man also happened to be looking at the window and had saw what has happened. Later, when he was picking up the papers which had been dumped on his paw, he found the important piece of paper that he had lost. Oh, oh, I think this is it. Yes, I found it. Wait. It was torn into dozens of pieces. He thought that his neighbour had not only picked his pocket, but had the cheek to mess up his doorway with rubbish. He didn't want to say anything. Instead, he started plotting his revenge too. That night, he found a farmer to make an order of ten pigs and a hundred ducks. I'm not joking. Ten pigs and a hundred ducks. That is a lot. In revenge, he asked that they be delivered to his neighbor's house. And of course, the next day, his neighbor had a quiet bit of trouble trying to get rid of so many animals and the pong. Sure that this had been a disastrously trick pulled by his neighbour. As soon as the second man had gotten rid of the pigs and ducks, he again started planning his revenge. And so it went on and on and on. It went on for days and days. And they continued trying to get their own back on each other. And each time their acts of revenge got bigger, they even got more ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. The dropping of that single piece of paper ended up in a involving in a rock band, a fire siren, the driving of a lorry 
into a garden fence. The drawing of it, hail of stones at windows. The firing of a cannon, and finally the dropping of a bomb, which destroyed both beds' houses. Both ended up in a hospital, and had to spend quite some time sharing a room there. At first, they refused to speak to each other. But one day, tired of silence, they got to talking. As time passed, they became a loyal. Loyal friends. Time was good, and life was good. Even when the day came, they finally dared discuss the piece of paper incident. As soon as they said. The first word, they realised that it had all been a misunderstanding, and that if they had talked to each other on the first occasion, instead of jumping to conclusions to Mars about bad intentions, which is horrible, then none of this would have even happened. Even better, they would still have their houses. Yes, they were homeless, just because of that tiny piece of paper, which could do nothing. However, in the end, the fact that they were talking and became friends helped them greatly to recover from their wounds and to work together to rebuild their houses. And as they were friends, they told their worries and lived happily ever after. That is the end of the story. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Allah Hafiz.